I needed a small table next to a favorite reading chair and decided to just make one. A stroll through Lowe's had me stopping at the paint cans, where I realized that three of them stacked would be the perfect height. Then I had to figure out some kind of top. I walked over to the pre-cut wood section and discovered these 14-inch plywood circles. Perfect size, but I didn't think that one was beefy enough. Doubling it made sense, but something was missing. So I created a space between the two by inserting a piece of quarter-inch MDF. This did the trick. The thin space gave it a more contemporary look and created a cool shadow line. Of course, I knew I would need to putty the rough plywood edge to ensure a smooth paint finish. I mocked it up when I got home to ensure it was what I wanted. I liked it. Next, I spray primed the cans after masking the handles and glued wood blocks under the lid so that I could securely screw each can to the one below. I had to create ballast to ensure that the hollow table would not topple easily. Gluing landscape rocks to the bottoms of the lower and middle cans worked well. After the third and final lid was glued on, I attached the tabletop pieces in layers with glue and screws and used a brick to weigh it down while drying. Then it was time to spray paint the piece with a gloss enamel, two coats on the body and three on the top. After removing the protective tape, I had to apply a little paint remover on the handle anchors when I noticed that my masking job was not perfect. I love the final product because it's the perfect size, it's colorful and sturdy, and it's not something you'll find anywhere else. Follow or subscribe at Design Marquee, and thanks for watching.